Hey guys, what's up? This is Bri. Pardon the slightly heavy breathing. Just banged out a set of burpees. So I'm going to go ahead and hit a target with you now. I've got my identity disciplined athlete. The virtues I'm going to embody disciplined, calm, confident, grounded, strong, energized, tranquil, and zesty. The virtue most highly correlated with your flourishing zest. Anyway, I've got all the different things I do in order to dominate my fundamentals so I have heroic energy and strength for two. And one of them is I hit a target each time I hit or I do a set of 11 burpees. So that's exciting. It's the third one in today. A um, bunch of other things we'll walk through. But uh, in our last little video like this, I told you about the Heroic app, which we just launched. I also hinted at sharing my aura scores with you. I'll tell you what, these numbers are driven in large part by the fact that I hit 101 targets in my big three on the Heroic app. Um, I also walked you through the uh, splash page, heroic.us. Check it out. You can learn more about the app and um, how we train heroes and how we help you be the best, most heroic version of yourself. You can also get the app, iOS, uh, Android, etc. So I want to start showing you no, we're actually online, folks. Um, I want to start showing you different aspects of the app. So I thought I'd start with the very first thing we designed. So there's a lot going on with the app. It's focused principally on helping you show up as your best, most heroic self in what we call your big three, energy, work, and love. We help you create an identity. We help you identify the virtues or qualities you embody when you are that best version of yourself identity-wise. Then we help you set up the targets that you're going to hit every day to be in integrity with that identity and with those virtues. So again, we'll walk through those in more detail. I'll actually share with you each one of the targets that I set for myself, why I set it, um, the recommended targets that we uh, share with our community and encourage them to consider engaging in an energy work and love, etc. But first, I want to talk about our virtue compass. So this is actually the first thing we designed with uh, our partner company, the same company, as I mentioned, that designed or concepted and worked on Slack, Tinder, Uber Eats. Blessed to have their support, really excited about what we've created together. The first thing that we created was this virtue compass. Because as we discuss in um, all of my work, if you asked ancient wisdom philosophers and modern scientists what the point of life is, they give you the exact same answer. So we have eudaimonia, as you can see right here at the top, eudaimonia via arete. That's what Aristotle would say is the ultimate purpose of life. The summum bonum, the highest good is to live with eudaimonia, which literally means good soul. Eudaimon, good soul. You want to show up as that best version of yourself. How do you do that? By living with arete. You express the best version of yourself, not someday, not even today, but right now, this moment. Moment to moment to moment. Close the gap between who you're capable of being and who you're actually being. Eudaimonia via arete. You ask uh, positive psychologists, they'll give you the exact same answer because they base their movement on ancient wisdom. They tell us you want to flourish by putting your virtues in action. So ancient wisdom, modern science agree, the ultimate game is to put your virtues in action. Therefore, in our app, at the very top, you can access this virtue compass and identify what virtue do you need a little bit more of in your life right now? Is it wisdom? Is it self-mastery? Is it courage? Or is it love? Those are my adaptations on the four cardinal virtues of every single ancient wisdom tradition. The Stoics talked about wisdom. They talked about temperance, which is kind of a weird, weak word for self-mastery. Um, they talk about courage, of course, and then they talk about justice. Uh, it's kind of one of the, the weak ways they describe the virtue of love. So wisdom, self-mastery, courage, and love are the four cardinal virtues of heroic. They are the four cardinal points of our virtue compass. And you can in the moment you want more wisdom or self-mastery or courage, you can go and, and look at quotes that will inspire you, All right? Um, how about some Epictetus wisdom? My favorite teacher, one of the heroes I aspire um, to embody the qualities in him that I admire, his intensity, uh, the way that he challenged his students, I just love. He says, we cannot choose our external circumstances, but we can always choose how we respond to them. Viktor Frankl was basically a practicing Stoic. He said the same thing. He said in between a stimulus and a response, 
there's a gap. In that gap exists your freedom. We got Forrest Gump giving us some humor. Uh, what does he say? If you don't know where you're going, you'll probably not wind up there. Anyway, we've got a collection. I think it's currently a thousand plus quotes. We're going to build that up into thousands and thousands. Then we're going to integrate each of the quotes into uh, connect them to the philosopher's notes from which they uh, were pulled. Self mastery. We got some Mark Twain. Always do right. This will gratify some and astonish the rest. Again, I can go through a thousand quotes and make this a, a very long video, but I'm going to keep it short for today. These are shorter. These are the cardinal virtues. Wisdom, self-mastery, courage, and love. You can get quotes. We'll talk about tools um, soon as well. But each of the virtues has tools, step-by-step -step tools that you can use to put your wisdom, that wisdom, um, into action. Again, not someday, not even today, but right now. I'll talk about hope, gratitude, curiosity, and zest in another video. Those are the... Look at that. We got a uh, thousand second timer going off. Let me go here. We'll hit that target. I'm going to go do another set of burpees, folks. Um, and I will, I already did target swipe a thousand seconds. I remind myself, hey, I want to get up every thousand seconds. Every 16 minutes and 40 seconds, I get up and I move my body. Because I know that science says that being sedentary is not a good idea if you want to show up with high vitality. So again, I prioritize the things I do. When I'm at my best, I remind myself of those things. And I've literally breadcrumbed my day to do the things that I do when I'm at, a, at my best. All day, every day, especially when I don't feel like it. All right, more soon. Hope you enjoyed.